What up farm, how you going? So we're just out here doing some spraying. I guess you could call it a chem fallow. So yeah, this is just, just to kill the vetch um, and any ryegrass that might still be here um, for yeah, chemical fallow purpose. So what it does is it's pretty much like carb loading before a big game the next day or something. You, we sow this crop with the intention of grazing it and spraying it out so that the paddock's set up well for next year so that there's less weed pressure for next year when we sow wheat. So that's the reason we're doing this. Yeah. So we got all finished spraying. Now we're just running fresh water through the lines so that there's no chemical left in there. So while we're here waiting for the sprayer to cool down, I thought I'd just show you this. I used to always, I have had a, a X-Grip um, phone holder and that's been great. The Instagram ads have been getting me with this thing called Quad Lock, which is a case that goes on your phone. What it is, it's just this little thing, you can see it there kinda, just like that. And a little thing there, and what it does is you just put it on and then your phone's there. What I like about this over the X grip is that you only need one hand to put it on. That was my only down, the only downfall to the X grip. You needed two hands, but this you only need one. So they haven't sent it to me. This is just a good product that I've found and I really like. So thank you Quad, quad Lock, you've done a good job. All right, so been in, had some lunch done some stuff, some other stuff that I didn't film. That's okay, it didn't really matter. And now we are going to take the boom off of this sprayer. So interesting process. Probably, you probably haven't seen it before, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Okay, this is the spot where we're gonna take the boom off. So we gotta fold it out a bit first. So we got it out into its position kinda. Now we've gotta put these legs on. <laughs> Okay, so we got all four legs on. Now we've got to sit it on the ground. Slowly put it down. Put the wing tilt out. Take these safety pins out. Now we can disconnect the main spray hose and the behind the wheel spray. Too. Now, in theory, we should just be able to let her down. That should just flop off. Just like that. Now what we've got to do is turn the machine off, turn the key back on, and work all the hydraulics on the front to make sure nothing's got pressure, and then unplug it. Cool, now we should be right to unplug all the hoses.
It's all unplugged. Nothing connected. And the boom's sitting there by itself. So now I should just be able to back off and the boom will still be there. All right. Let it down a bit more so that we know we're clearing and we'll back off. And that is how you take the boom off a of Miller Nitro.